Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we deployed a Python or Anaconda predictor on RenderCloud. This time we're going to do something smaller and simpler. Cell phone classification. Download this data set from Kaggle. Okay. File 1 equals the file path. Now remember, there's no train, there's no uh, validation folder, so we got to create one. Okay, let's get started. Train data gen equals the data generator validation split 33 equals horizontal flip equals true for validate for a data augmentation and then flow from the directory 384 384 now remember if you want to make it a different shape you got to make it down there as well for the convolutional neural network batch size equals 4 subset training binary subset validation binary and remember train data gen flow for both Import TensorFlow with TF also. As you can see, there's not too many images. Now, we're going to do something unconventional with the convolutional neural network, although we're using the same input shape. But dense one, binary, of course, 2832, but that's not the unorthodox method. The unorthodox method is we're going to start out with a kernel size of 5, go down to 4 for the max pooling layer. And then we're going to do it even down. Why do you ask? To kind of cover the gap between the shape a little bit. Anyways, uh, dense one, activation equals sigmoid, atom, binary cross entropy, accuracy. 13 epochs. Let's see how it trains. Pretty good for a small data set. Now, let's see how it predicted. As we can see, there's a cell phone, 87.03% chance. Now, how did we do that? If you guys have been watching my videos, remember the input shape and target shape, 384. I am read the image, resize the array, reshape, predict, prepare the image, and then score. And then that's just to show it. And then the percentages. Remember? No and yes. Zero and one. But it's on the index so we can turn them into percentages. With multi-class, we have to compute with the mpargmax function. Same thing right there. But as you can see, this one had stronger confidence there was a cell phone. Okay. And then this one... Look, it's empty floor. No cell phone. Remember, it comes with test samples, but all those are cell phones. If you want a one without one, you got to go find one on the internet. Okay, guys. Next time, I'm thinking we're going to deploy on SageMaker. No GCP for a, look, for a while, even though I haven't done that in a while. Okay. Um... Stay tuned. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and feel free to share the video.